<laughs> uh, anyway, for the recap, last time on mm -hmm. Family Memories, uh, the party was in Tinkerton looking to find Neil Harker. They Everyone could not. I heard over getting wonked by a goddamn golem. Um, they could not find him, but they did find a book that he seemed to have been interested in on creating Angry. artificial life. Lima had been doing research into that. Uh, Archron met some oh, more... Oh yeah, I straight up hypnotized a person. Oh yeah, that too. Archron met some m members of the Tinkerton Defense Force and had a bit of a bout with Bastion. And then Zuko, after... A evening of performance discovered an alley with a strange magic. And now we resume the game. I hope the mark is still there, otherwise I'm gonna wait expect some fuck dudes happening. You all oh, wait, are we fully healed and wait, yes. are we fully you, rested by now? You've yeah, taken a long rest. The okay, day thank you, God. End. I need to find that button. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, God. You're welcome. Oh, man, looking a bit woozy. <laughs> <laughs> He's been getting. Can we? Let's see. How many? Tommy's died almost. How many times? Twice now? Five. Three. Oh, yeah. Three times he's Tommy a doctor conscious. Tommy has Tommy become intentionally a wholesome religious allegory for his religion. Un unintentionally. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, you, you all. You can wake take up? the. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You wake up from, um, well, Lima and Zuko, you wake up, uh, Archon's not to be found, probably off training in the early morning, and Tommy, okay. you come out of your rest mode. Ah. I'm going to go off into, uh, a different alley away from the party and engage with checking if Tommy isn't following me again. <laughs> Tommy, do you try to follow? I follow with horsey. <laughs> right, is my horse. I, I stop, I just put my hand on horsey and say no. Okay. No. Okay. No. Tommy, stay. Yeah. But horsey, stay. I roll for persuasion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. It's going to have no inherent effect. I know, I just uh, want to do it for colorful not... value of how loud it is. <laughs> roll your persuasion check. Very oh loud. <laughs> I'm not persuading him. I'm. What I'm doing is I'm trying to say please so loud that everyone around him will find it annoying if he doesn't say yes, so he feels peer pressure. I kind of want to make a bluff check to counter this. <laughs> well, Tommy, roll your persuasion. What is your result? 26. 26? <laughs> you get, like, you get the, the looks of it's like when there's a parent and their kid is just screaming their head off. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to roll a bluff check to try and get out of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> All <know>. right, <laughs> try to try to roll deception. Okay, um, one second. God loves it when Tommy is persuasively annoyed. <laughs> yeah. God. I combat, but I am a friend of the people. That's some fuck shit right there. I did. What'd you roll? Hold on, nah, I was trying to find my, get to my character sheet. I like how Tommy's innocent and I'm just an asshole. <laughs> Whenever we play this. I secretly just want to be an annoying fuck. But in game, Tommy is just for He is legitimately not trying. <laughs> powers the Tommy Tinker toy. Hello I again, Technicolor the Wizard. Of that is also true. What is your deception roll, Zuko? Okay, I was trying to get to my sheet. There it is. Okay, deception is plus six. Six. 
and you'll be looking at seven. Go. Fourteen. Uh, you convince some people that you don't know Tommy and that this is probably just a weird thing, but the general crowd still kind of gets it. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, okay. Fine. Yeah. Come along this far. I, I throw like a... <sighs> I, I don't know, I just kind of throw like a cloth thing just to kind of gag him slightly, but I can still hear it through the gag. It <laughs> does, it, it actually does not affect the sound at all. <laughs> I just then take the off and go, okay, okay, stop. I go. Let us go. <sighs> Let us go, bing bong. <laughs> I just kind of grumble as I just walk down towards where the alleys are. I have many friends. <laughs> Tommy is the master of stupid. Uh, so are you going to the alley that you went to the previous day, or a new one? I was gonna go to a new one to go talk to some people, but you know what? Since you're being followed by the ever-presently annoying Tommy, I guess I'm going to the old alley. <laughs> Can I make a stealth check to just dip midway? Ah, uh, yeah, roll a stealth check, Tommy. What's your passive perception? Oh, yeah, you're using my one weakness. My attention span. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude, you're totally gonna dip. My passive perception is 11. <laughs> I rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> they would you would have had a good time slipping away from Tommy if he wasn't on top of a horse and had a good vantage point to still see you <laughs> I I turn around and I'm going to roll deception again I forgot something Tommy and then I'm going to roll deception <laughs> that would be against Tommy's insight which is also a weapon well you would roll well do you, okay, do you yeah. believe do you believe that he it just forgot I something? Know, do you do you just accept? Oh it? Oh think you probably just easily distracted. I okay. I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, that's a nineteen. I I obviously I'm just like ah, oh, I mean I'll be right back. Can you just go find that mark? I know yeah, I left I it rolled, up there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I rolled worse than my passive. I got ten, so yeah, Tommy believes you, but only because he thinks of you as a friend and he gives you the benefit of the doubt. Also, Tommy believes that you will not leave a child alone in the middle of the street and in the middle of nowhere. Yes, Thanks. I definitely uh, won't. <laughs> meanwhile, Tommy is probably right. sitting up my head. So, so what are you guys doing then? What are you guys doing then? Um... So, what happened was, we went to that spot, I stopped at the entrance and said, Shit, I forgot something. I'll be right back, Tommy. I, I just gotta go grab a different thing real fast. Just, can you just so, so it was the me? alley that you discovered the previous night? Yes. Alright. I'm, no, I'm going to an adjacent alley to go find my handler. Alright, so you go off. Uh, Tommy, as you stand there at the alley, Suddenly, a door okay. appears out of nowhere. Uh, door. What do you do? I look at Bing Bong, then I look at to uh, Tony. Then I look at Bing Bong, then I look at Tony. Then I look at Bing Bong, then I look at Bing Bong again because I forgot where Tony was. Then I look at Tony. Do you, but you look Bing to where Tony, Tony was and he is gone. <laughs> hey, he's probably sleeping on the pillow at home. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the hotel room. Actually... Tommy, the door opens. Well, luckily I'm short. Onward, bing bong! And hopping out of the door is a figure of oh, yeah. short stature wearing a cloak, but as the figure turns and you see his face, you recognize him. Papa? Tommy? What are you doing here? Research. 
Everyone's looking for you. What happened? Uh, he... Now we'll come back to Lima. <laughs> oh boy, Lima time! Oh no! Tommy will begin the powers of his greatest of all abilities. Being cute and adorable. So, Lima has woken up. She's doing more research. And later in a bit, she's going to try to find somebody who can do sending so she can contact the other art majors to let them know what she found so far. All right. Um, roll me persuasion to see if you can find someone who has sending. Will do. Mm-hmm. Can I go to a Persuasion. Plus eight. Please don't fail me. Nineteen! Nineteen! That's a good roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are in a independent city-state that is not connected with Dry Carcel. There are very few people who are powerful enough to cast Sending who would have the connection to send the message. So I can't just go to Forge and ask him if that's possible. Forge would not have sending. <laughs> you can try Forge, maybe he would know, but I'll, this I'll is, like but I, I'm just wanting to point out that this is a set an independent city state. Gotcha. But I would definitely probably ask Forge because Forge knows people from Dark Cells and he probably knows somebody who probably has connections for me to Go to just order send this message. Just in case. Right. So you go to meet Forge. Yes. Uh actually roll me investigation. Oh no. You cannot find him. Can't find him, can't find somebody who's sending. Oh boy. No, because I remember saying. Please, after a while, she could be painting like in like this location back and forth for a bit, but like, tapping her, like her thumb against her chin, kind of thinking. Uh, Andrew, are you available? Actually, no, we'll, we'll cut to Zuko. We'll cut to Zuko. Um, you head into an alley to try and find your handler. And for once, he is actually not there. Hmm. Well, I should try to keep appearances, and then I'll just head back to find Tommy. And then as you do, you see Tommy uh, on his horse... Facing a door and a halfling man who you also recognize. You! Yes? You didn't pay your medical bill when I last saw you. I did not receive treatment from you. That is a distinction. Oh, no, 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 no. No, sir, you are not pulling this again. I asked for your advice on a topic. You did not have that advice. Business was concluded. I paid you. Checks, but checks paper. Oh wait, you did. Hmm. Tommy prepares guidance. Tommy, nice. your father will open the door behind him and slink it, <laughs> and then close it. Tommy tries to rush okay. into the door to chase after Papa. Uh. I'm going to try and uh, help rip open the door, too. Actually, right. I'm going to stick my staff through the door. Quarter out of the door to prevent it from closing. Roll me a dexterity check. Straight dexterity. Oh, All right, Tommy's worst skill! Wait, I forget. <laughs> and hold on. Does full play make it so you have disadvantage what? on this kind of track? Only, only on stealth, because it's clanging. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, good. Tommy is a moron. It is a nine. As Tommy will not be trying to use the horse. He's going to try to clamber on, uh, after him. Uh, Zuka, you were able to put your staff in and stop the door from closing. Um, and then you hear someone falling to the ground behind the door. Oh. And you can now... We're not done talking. Uh, let me just double check something. Yeah, to be honest, I thought this would be more drawn out, but uh, at least it will be the first. This is a first interesting first encounter. Hey, that that was luck. I was rolling d hundreds to see. <laughs> Wait, did I just accidentally shove him over from the door with the stick? <laughs> oh no, he rolled natural one on his dexterity. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Ow. I literally Gandalf the door open. Like, Bill Bo was about to shut it, but he had to shove the whole stick in there and be in like, I believe you don't want to shut the door on me. Uh, yeah. Um, do you try to proceed inside? Yes. You try to, and you are blocked by a force. You can keep the door open, but you cannot proceed inside. I'm going, going to try and dispel magic. Do you have the spell dispel magic? I'm going to Arcana that shit. You could not. You cannot do that because that would be way too powerful. If I could just let you do that as a check. Fair. That's why there is a third level spell to do that. God damn it! As, Tom, as Tommy is blocked by the force, top you see Tommy visibly panic for the first time, like legitimately more than usual. Like he is not smiling. He is not in serious mode. He is just actually legitimately sad as he legitimately seems to be shaking in fear. Going, Papa! Oh, Papa! Papa! As he's just like kind of on his knees, limping, trying to get... to cast a vicious mockery on that man. You get your ass back here and open this barrier. Your boy is crying, and you should feel bad, you tiny half-brain. He hangs his head as he exits the... the place. Please don't go. Persuasion check with guidance. I want to roll intimidate. <laughs> Let Tommy roll his first. Fifteen. And yes, because this is something Tommy would do irrationally, he is also going to use his channel to divinity to try add a bonus to that check. All right. Do you also want to use your uh, inspiration? Actually, yeah, Bardic Inspiration. I want to use that on Tommy. All right, you get an... Uh, what's your Bardic Inspiration die? Um, let's see. My Bardic Inspiration is... The presence... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, hang on. How far was uh the halfling in my range? He was like just behind the door when you had vicious mockery. Uh, make him make a wisdom save. He already did. He uh, succeeded it. Just a wisdom save in general. Yeah. Got a twenty six on it. Jesus. Yeah, my dad ain't stupid. In, in regards to that, you yourself make a double checking. Does he even have the spell? Hold on. Yes, make a wisdom present. save. Oh god, I think that's one of Zuko's lesser. Yeah. Oh no, actually, I have a plus four. Oh uh, yeah, because medicine is a wisdom based skill. Fun fact, there's a reason why druids and priests I got are 15 on that. You are now a frog. God damn it. 
the bardic inspiration doesn't go off. I you you it. still get it. Okay. What's the bardic inspiration die? Uh, checking. God this is a feature polymorph. I don't think I've ever seen you use willingly to help someone. No, I have. Sorry, I feel, sorry. Andrew has low stat. Okay, Tommy ha respects Zuko, but Andrew doesn't trust Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. All right, where the fuck is my bardic inspiration die? Uh, on arm strike. Bardic inspiration, 1d6. And I've got them all back, so... So you get a d6 you can add. Okay, that tolls out... I'll to give you a... 25. Wow. 25. And I'm not using my inspiration, mainly because... While as Tommy, he would want to use the inspiration, as a player, I want the story to be drawn out so that way the narrative is rich. I'm willing to sacrifice that for the sake of narrative. Tommy, gotcha. your father will place his hands on your shoulders. I am so sorry. But I I found a way. We can... Don't do it, Dad. You I know just... Mommy wouldn't want this. just need enough power. I wasn't going to hurt anyone. I won't what hurt anyone. What about yourself? Wait, hang on. You're trying to polymorph me. Motherfucker, I have resistance to magic. Oh, roll me a second save. He, he, keep in mind. He resists. Fifteen? No, you don't. <laughs> Motherfucker. You forget that in his backstory. He's a transmutation specialist. You also forget he's an arc mage. <laughs> Level eight. Twenty one DC on that. <laughs> New target on the shit list. You mocked him first. You tried to cast vicious mockery on him. This is harmless. You're just a frog for an hour. Yep. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Tommy really is really broken against him right next to Tommy, Tony will come Tommy. out of Tommy's armor <laughs> and just laugh at you. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> but he's I, just broken I, it I for Tommy. I and frog. Fuck you, Tony. He is a lizard. He does not understand frog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, glorious. I love how there's this joke kind of thing going on in the background as Tommy is like actually for once focused on something depressing. Tommy, I promise you I would not have hurt anyone. Broking angrily in protest. I, I just need a source of power. <laughs> More angry croaking. <laughs> Tries to flick tongue at that man's boot. Where will you go? I was hoping to find something here. I'm going to hop on Tommy's shoulder, other free shoulder and just angrily croak at him more. Our party's weird. Don't judge me, Anna. <laughs> Please don't leave. Not again. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Please. We can do this together. We don't have to go that far. I miss her too. But we have to be strong. We know that. More angry croaking. Please. Actually, no, no, Zuko stops for a minute after that part. Like, before that part is said. Uh, 
Right, Tommy. What what should we do then? Um Hold on. My mom's sleep. Or you do something overhead. Roll me another persuasion check. And I still get that plus five bonus is the best part. I think you still get I don't think I can use inspiration again while but frogged. You are a frog. And I can't and I'm not gonna use guidance uh, in the middle of a situation without of planning it in advance. I'm not I'm not a cheater. Oh, lower. And polymorph. Only fourteen. I mean, I'm still going to kill all the Archmages, so there is only like a 50% chance I might go kill this man later. Please don't. He'll smile at you. All right, we can go home then. Uh, I can teleport us there. That would be the quickest way. I just croak and protest like, hey. He will look at you, glare at you, and does not release the spell. Wow. I, I'm, I'm just trying, I was just trying to help the boy, and now you just are going to leave me here. You, you vicious mockeried him, and now you're just croaking nonstop. <laughs> yeah. Interrupting a moment. Into a frog. You expect to me to shut up. up. That's, like why he's, <laughs> that's why he turned you into a frog. Just that would work. Just let me go. Oh. Do you have any other companions, Tommy? There's Pancake and Frederick and Lemur. All right. I broke at Tommy. You all then, uh, do you go and find Lima and Arkron? Tommy, want, Tommy wants to stay with Papa. But he, he'll accompany you. Okay. I presume we find Lima first, then... We go to our just concert. sitting on top of Tommy's head, just yeah. still pissed. After still an hour, pissed, compliant. After an hour, after an hour, the spell wears off because it's not true polymorph. Thankfully, <laughs> okay. I and you are on top of Tommy's head when this happens. <laughs> oh no! Oh just no! Like, oh fuck! And you <laughs> just kind of trip on him. Huh. <laughs> Okay, first off, fuck you. Do you want me I to do it again? No, I was going to try and say, why were you leaving the poor boy alone? I understand it turned into vicious mockery, but to be fair, you are going to leave this poor boy with me. You deserved it. Quit acting like it's my fault. How many bunks joined ahead with the newspaper? Yeah. Fuck it. Hey. All right. Fine. Good to see you again, sir. Even if I am very angry with the frog. Hopefully you've learned your lesson. I've begun to hate you archmages more. Yet somehow, I hate you slightly less. You... Do you go to gather the party now? I, I go to gather the happen, party. But I don't want to say because it would be cheating. I guess I go to gather the party. I'm just going to actually want to check my spell list for something. Oh, yeah, no, we're not doing that. That'd be just pure cruelty. <laughs> Sorry, no, I noticed one thing that I could do that's actually horrifying. Uh, Lima, what is your reaction when you when they find you? Hi. 
hey, hi. Oh. Lou's gonna stop seeing the person in the art mage clothes. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, hello. Um, I am I, Neil Harker. Nice to meet Neil Harker. I am Emma Solomon. Tommy was extremely worried about you. I'm just gonna take oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. Lapis, Actually, I'm not gonna oh. I'm just gonna just slightly poke Harker in the face going. Right. Now I have a few questions for you. Yes. What is your relationship with the other Archmages? They are colleagues. Simple as that. Uh, um. Right. I accidentally switched you guys over to a map. My apologies. Oh, <laughs> no okay. I thought, there was, I thought something bad was going to happen. <laughs> No, that was me trying to do some DM stuff in the background and accidentally moved you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. But, uh, I, I am Liam Solomon, by the way. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Solomon, I'm familiar with the name. Lima tenses up and looks down. Yeah. I believe you remember. Very well, I can Bye. bring us all back to Foxkilf. Should we get Archon first? You already have Archon. He was okay. easy to find. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, He's I just being I quiet. Just use, I kind of want to use Unseen Server to just carry him. <laughs> just an no. invisible hand that's just carrying this man. Yeah. But we can joke around, say Archon is too fatigued from training with yeah. Frederick that they fell asleep on the horse. Yeah. That makes sense. Sounds about right. Alright. I can teleport us back if that is what you would prefer. But, uh, does Lima have to copy the book from the order from yesterday? Uh, mm, how long did I say, to, say it was going to take? <laughs> A day. Yeah, you 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 can go and grab the copy. I grabbed the copy and I hand it over to the Hawker. Because I feel like they would want that still with them just in case. He nods his head. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Uh, you know what I realized I could have done when he was trying to go away from the situation? Tosh's hideous laughter to actually paralyze him. It would nearly kill him, but, you know, it would stop him. Yeah, that's true, technically, but can we, can we move on from this? <laughs> I'm Please still upset trying to about plan ways you could have killed my father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a a I am justified. All right, then. You will rub his hands together and then take them apart and clap them and cast Teleport. And so you all appear back in Tommy's home. Hmm. This place looks like it was collecting dust. Well, it seems less, a little bit less dusty because some of the cleaning Lima did uh, like a few days ago uh, in it. <laughs> I didn't know you were a maid in your pa in your spare time. I I try to be as helpful as best as I can. So if I end up cleaning stuff, it's kind of... Tommy, try, Tommy smiles and tries to look for Papa. He is there with you. I guess I should... He's going to bap him with the staff again. Nope. I guess I should he... report to my colleagues and apologize for the oh, trouble. Tell them I said go fuck yourself. Look, Lee was just going to cover Zuko's mouth Zuko, wow. roll me another wisdom save. Ooh. You get advantage because it's spell. God damn it, not again. <laughs> I'm just saying, fuck the Archmages. I mean, I don't hate this guy, but I hate them. Actually, no, I, well, there's two of them I don't hate. One of them I do. But if he succeeds, Lima's just going to gag him with his her own hand for a while just to kind of shut him up for a bit. So it doesn't okay, hang on. It's just a spell save. That's a bonus I get, actually. You get advantage. You know, I think I got an extra bonus from that. Let me check. Okay, so it's plus four. So wait, this is wisdom, right? Yes. 
All right. No. Come on. What the fuck? You are now... Somebody uh, hates you. <laughs> learning from last time, you are now a lizard. You cannot make sounds. No, lizards can make sounds. They're fucking loud. <laughs> He's a lizard that cannot make sound. Okay, then. So it's just mute. Gotcha. <laughs> Tony will, Tony will crawl out of Tommy's armor. Tony will crawl out of Tommy's armor. Eh, Pretty I'm ash. not so impressed. I just glare. Why do I have a feeling this is like the universe is karmic? Okay, out of game we know this is a comical bit. But in game, this is like the universal karma for trying to con Tommy by making him buy a lizard. <laughs> yeah. This is, like, just cathartically perfect. <laughs> no, right. Neil Arker will look over at Tony. You and I are going to have to talk. And I'll have to talk to my son about him having a talking lizard. Oh, thank you, friend. The, uh, the druid. He's the one who did it. And I'm grateful. Well, all right, then. Tony. Teleportoni. All right. <laughs> just kind of shrug at that. Hmm. And here I saw thinking finding his papa was going to be a lot harder. It was going to be, but I Neil I Harker rolled Neil Harker back on the shit list. He's dying soon. <laughs> oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, please. Oh, I'm about to like, make Tommy a gay orphan. Can, can you continue what you were saying before, though, uh, Sam? Uh, you are back in Fox Elf. Is there anything you seek to do? Yuma's probably just going to help clean up the house and kind of help New Hark get back. Uh, he, he left. Well, she's, she's going to make sure the house is a little bit able to kind of help be more comfy for him and stuff and like you, buy, buy food for him you've for now. been doing that for a while food stock you spent a week living in this house fair what, what else would we technically do then uh... hmm. I mean you could always get more food yeah I'm definitely gonna get new fresh food and Try to cook, I guess. Does anyone accompany Lima on the market trip? I can't do shit. I'm a lizard. After a little bit, you turn back into Zuko. It's I make one to remark therapy. at the large mages. Wow, I just even want to know how corrupt my colleagues are. I just grumble to myself. I'm just kind of looking at my book, looking at um, Neil, just kind of t contemplating, should I just toss this hideous lap to you to stop you from speaking and slowly kill you? No, Tommy needs you alive. Does anyone accompany Lima it? on shopping trip? Do not. <laughs> no. Because I, cause Tommy wants to make a big dinner for Papa to celebrate oh, him. I kind of want to go to point to get a poison, <laughs> not lethal poison, just you know, enough to make him suffer. All right, so oh, you all nice. go out to shop, and I go to the alley. Well, um, you you take you guys while well, you're all still gathered. All of the sudden. Actually, I'm going to need to copy you guys. Hold on. Okay. going to need to copy your tokens. My apologies. The, I had plans, and plans got changed because of dice rolls. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I mean, that, that's the thing I'm just sending if you need to. Oh, I did not see.
so. You all on the street. Uh, range yourselves as you will. Okay. I probably have Horsey with me. All right. Under my butt. He is my moral support horse. Uh, Robo Horse. Robo Horse. Robo Horse. Robo Horse. Uh, I'm giving you control. There. Okay. There, you have control okay. of the Robo Horse now. Hey. Okay. okay. Wait. Wow. I just realized my horse is a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's a large creature. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. All right, uh, can you uh, can you uh, copy my character token and paste it down again so I can layer them on top of the horsey? I can just go ahead and um. Hold on. Actually, I could just there, them off now. You now you down. now you're on top, so you can ride on the horse. Okay. <laughs> And I'm as you all me. proceed down the street, all of a sudden, a figure, vaguely humanoid, um, a mixture of elements, comes around the corner. Sounds like a failed Prismari art piece. May I quickly roll Arcana real quick for it? You hey. may. No. 13? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's chaos. And now, um. Wait, I'm gonna figure that shit out. Yeah. It's chaos. It's chaotic. You can just see, like, oh, oh, hell. Tommy rolls a two. Uh, we sorry, begin uh, combat. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> First thing that going inside Lima's head is that's probably my pocket watch. First off, I this is gonna be sorry, chat. This is gonna be very intensive. Uh, this is a creature that I have made to be complete chaos. So, uh, <laughs> uh first oh, off, you know, I remember this, Joe. You remember the thing I made you guys fight that one time? Yeah. This is probably it at full power. Yeah. I'm okay, sorry. luckily, that was good for you guys. <laughs> that roll that I just did, that I think was hidden, was uh, good for you guys. You rolled a four and a three. Yep. Oh! Yeah, Ramsey, I still have to get used to using spell points. It will go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then, let us see the range. Okay, question. Where is the spell point set again? I'm uh, it's, okay, there I, it is. There's it's a feat for you. All right. In a 15-foot sp sphere around the creature, which I believe hits all of you, roll me a constitution save. As far as you need to make magic, save. It's magic, right? It is not a spell. Okay. Lima, Sonic you succeed. That's good. Zuko, right. you succeed. Uh, let's see. Robo Horsey must roll. Bong, Bing Bong must roll. One moment. Plus one. He got a nine, and Tommy got an eleven. Bing Bong does not succeed. Oh, Bing Bong! Oh. Now let us determine the damage. No, no, wow, no. this first this first round is definitely in your guys' favor. That will be uh five damage if you failed. And because this damage type matters, let me just uh that's a two. So that means it is cold damage. No, not my lazy. Why is every... Wait, I forget. Wait, so does the hit points or anything change on the summoned version of it, or does it just stay the same? It just stays the same. 
Ingmong needs upgrades. Anyway, that is the elemental's turn. You should Zuko. throw ping pong into the forge. It is your turn. Actually, the funny thing is that would make sense for changing Bing Wong's form. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to yeah. say, that was actually a really bad first turn for it. That was a really okay. bad turn. You're telling me, my horsey is going to get hurt more. Um, I'm noticing a pattern. Tommy and everything he lives by is to slowly so, pain. What do I know about this thing we're dealing with? It seems to be an elemental. It just moved up and exploded. Um, it is made of all the different elements at once and in not equal in shifting proportions. Okay, I'm, I'm just going gonna to cast dissonant person. whispers to make it feel experience pain in its conflicting condition to make it believe <laughs> that it pretty much hates itself because of how wrong it is. Oh, God, you're so evil. I love it as a person. I uh, seven fails. However, oh. how much damage do I get to deal? Uh, roll your damage. 46. I kind right. of whisper in Draconic to anyone else who can hear it. Feel the never-ending conviction of your putrid existence. Roll your damage. Huh? Roll your damage. Let's see the damage. Tommy says you have issues. <laughs> Thirteen. Does Tommy even understand Draconic? Nope. I can. He just, ha he just thinks you have issues. <laughs> and it so will... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 10, 15, 20. And it cannot go any farther because there is a house in the way. <laughs> oh yeah, he's scared. Tommy, it is your turn. Ooh, Tommy gets to do something interesting. Apparently so elementals can feel fear. I did not know this could happen. Okay, I'm just going to ask out of context because I know both as me as a person and also as a character. Okay, is Tom, does Tom, by the logic of how this universe works, would elementals be considered... Ever is okay. I'm just gonna go ask it straight out. Okay, would it make morally justified sense for Tommy to attack an elemental? Um, a lot of times, element. Um, I would say because roll me Arcana. Attack, they don't die. They just go back home. Yeah, roll me Arcana or religion. He, Your choice. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna roll religion on this one. As a player, I feel conflicted. Sixteen. Sixteen? Um, I mean, like, with elementals, uh, it's kind of hard to nail down a single answer. However, you could tell that this thing is just kind of acting chaotically. Okay, so... Tech... Okay, so attacking it is okay. It is a unreasonable force of nature that even if I vanquished it, it would go back to the primal chaos where it belongs. Okay. Noted. Tommy is like having a moment where he's like, okay. Um, uh, Lima and Zuko, you both took two damage. Tommy, you only took two damage from the oh, burst. I? It was Bing oh. Bong that took five because it because your horse was the only creature that failed. No, oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Like I said, it had a really bad turn. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 this one has a lower save DC. Okay, this is much easier than that. Actually, maybe making it run away was a bad idea. It's really so. Wait a minute. Oh, I just set a house on fire. Zuko, you fucking moron. Do you not know anything about the trials of Victor and his many experiments? This is basically one of them. Actually, yeah, I could see Victor making one of these. Shut up, you have no right to judge. And it is an elemental construct. I could summon this in Richard's game if he permitted it. <laughs> it, is oh, a, it is a CR5 elemental. If the horse moves, it would probably die way too quickly. 
Okay, I'm not sure if I can knock it prone, but apparently I have an ability that lets me do that if I do it right. Try it. Like, worst case scenario, at least it'll be interesting. Okay, so this is at least one... Okay, this is at least 30 feet away, so yeah, I can do this. Okay. Okay. Tommy is going to protect. Right? Okay, think from the perspective of Tommy. What would Tommy do? You're on a marketplace. Play with your newspaper. That is accurate. Mostly you. But right now, okay. currently in, an, in a like public area near a market, and that has shown up and attacked us. So civilians nearby might need help. Put it that way. And I don't know, hold monster. I'm going to be giving you about thirty more seconds. Okay, I was just trying to figure out what to do officially. Don't punch it. What's so okay. hard to think? Sorry, I was just checking if I had bonus action stuff. Okay, Tommy is going to... Brain. Okay, Tommy is going to use a bonus action to cast Shield of Faith on the horsey. That way, he does not get uber-fucked over. And is going to go charge straight towards at it, and he and the horsey are going to go for a... Some stomp and hammer attacks to snuff out to the cosmic entity fire, as I will just call it. Do remember that you gave your hammer to a priest here in Boxelf. <clears throat> mm -hmm. To be and magically upgraded. Punch it. Just punch it. I am bad at that. Um. Yeah. Lemur, can I borrow your hammer? She doesn't have it either. You do have yours. No. I gave you it back, though. Remember? No, we, we, both hammers were given to that person. That's why I don't have it equipped right now. My character. Tommy only gave his hammer. Oh, yeah. never mind. I do have mine. So, yeah, I'm just going to toss the crude silver hammer over to like, Tommy, then. Hey, Gab. <laughs> da -da -da. All right, make your oh. attack and make uh, your horse's attack. Okay. First. Okay, so I presume I'm just using the same dice uh, I would normally roll for that. Uh, just add a Warhammer to your inventory real quick. But oh, yeah, no. it would be same attack bonus. Seven? Um, uh, no, I rolled in that one. Oh. A area oh. of rock appears right where you're about to strike Hold and on. the hammer bounces Hold off. Hold on, let me check something. Let me check something. Or see, do better. Silvery please. barbs did not help. It has to use the lower. Yes, exactly. My rain just realized that myself. Like, yeah, it's all that. Ah, uh, fuck monkeys. Make your um, horses attack. Okay. Or, wait, you're level five, aren't you? You get a second attack, I believe. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing. I usually don't fight that much, or at least I was. We were lower level originally. Hey. So. Okay, I got two ones this time. So it's 17. 17 Dude. will hit. Okay. Do you add anything to the attack? You just bat it in the face. Um, with hammer. No, the hammer doesn't add anything extra. I'm meaning Divine Smite. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, how many spell points would the Divine Smite be? Um, As many as it would be for the spell slot. So if you're using a first level, that's two points. Second level, three points, etc. Okay. Uh, okay. One sec. Um. Let's see. Let me go check because I've I've never used divine smite. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I've never used divine smite. I think I'll go for two d eight. So I will sacrifice two points. Three. No three. It's it's base two d eight that you add. It starts no, 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 I mean, I had to, no, I mean, I had to spend two, I had to spend three spell points to use a second level spell slot to do 2d8. It, it, Divine Smite, first level slot is 2d8, second level is 3d8. Oh, okay, I am stupid. It's 3d8 then, 3d8. 
Okay, so 3d8 plus. What is the normal hammer's damage? Uh, if you're using it one-handed, which you probably are mounted, then that is d8 plus strength. So that is essentially 48. 4d8 plus strength modifier. Okay, the first one will be the physical. The other three will be the radiant damage. Uh... And then what's your strength oh. mod? My strength modifier is plus three. All right. So 23 damage. Nice. Also, I realized, quick work on something, I cast the shield spell on myself because it then affects me and my horsey. There we go. Yeah. All right. I was an idiot. And now your horse makes an attack? Yes, and it gets a special ability for attacking from after charging straight 20 feet. So he's going, and I'm pretty sure he only makes like one attack, right? Um, no. does it have multi attack on its stat block? Uh, no. Then it's it only one attack. It's just one yeah. attack. On the bright side, it has just as good a benefit as I do. Plus six, that would be fifteen. Fifteen hits. Okay, so it does two d six plus four. Bludgeoning. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That actually okay. seems less effective um, against the elemental, which is weird because it should be doing similar to what your hammer was doing. But also, it now must make a strength save. Strength save? All right. Yeah. Unless it's immune to being knocked from. It's not what I wanted to copy. All right, so it's going to be d20 plus 2d6. Uh, I, does a 12 succeed? Nope. It needed to beat a 14. The creature is knocked prone, and if the target is prone, the horse can make another attack with its hooves. <laughs> oh my Go God. ahead and make your other attack. With the that horse is doing work. It is an advantage because he's prone. Yep. <sighs> Horsey kick ass! Damn, that horsey hit so good. That hits. Okay. I am. Okay, now I can see the major benefit of the war horse. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of health, but when you get down to it, it has some benefits. Okay, never underestimate horses. It's like Roll Skyrim damage. all over again. It's like Skyrim all over Eight, again. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's great. 12? Yes. All right. This thing is looking hurt from that. Lima, your turn. Okay. First things first. I would like to roll perception to see if I see any objects inside of the thing. Roll me perception. This is no. the most combat use I've ever had as Tommy. You do not see anything. You ain't seeing shit, Captain. It's gonna head over. Her hands are physically shaking right now because part of her does not understand what's happening, and but also part of her knows what's going on as well. The figure will look up at you, and you cannot see any expression, but you feel sadness. Lima's just gonna slowly lower her hands and touch the side of the head of the elemental. Is that your turn? Uh, I like to do one other thing before the end of my turn. Yes. I'm opening my uh, ability to be aware of magic, and I'm using one of my magical awareness, uh, specifically as a roleplay thing to like open up myself to that elemental more. You feel you Not see. Waves of magic. This thing is made of magic. And you hear in your head a voice so similar to your own, but it's it's not your thoughts. But you just hear this voice that sounds like you call out your name. Yes, I, I, I'm here. 
I'm Andrew, sorry. How many times have you sent? Alright. Now, does it recharge? It does. The elemental will use half movement to stand up. Wait, doesn't it make another save? Nope. Is it still affected by the whispers? Whispers is once. Whispers is oh. one thing. That was a concentrated thing that I could keep going. Whispers is not concentration. Damn. Congratulations, Zuko. You are out of range. As it recharged its burst. Tommy, Warhorse, and Lima. Roll me constitution saves. Although the DC is five! That 20. Lima, you are unaffected. Tommy got a 13. You succeed. Roll for horse. Also, I forgot Lima. to do this, so I'm gonna have to... Wait, did I? Wait, was that my roll? Or... And eight. Uh, horsey got eight. Eight succeeds. Hold on, I just need to adjust. This has oh, been right. a really bad showing of the chaos elemental, but that's part of the fun of this thing, is it's complete chaos! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I like I... how the chaos elemental is just the personification of DM's uh, DM pain. Well, that's like, one damage! Who, everyone? That's one damage to all of you within the sphere of acid damage. Because it got minimum damage and a CC of five on the burst. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, I know it's fine, it's just it hurts. So I take the damage with the healing. Fun. Gotcha, get now. So I took the damage. Gotcha. You actually ignored the damage because you you got nat twenty on the save. Oh yeah, so. I feel like you should. <laughs> Zuko, your turn. I cast Eldritch Blast. Roll attack. One second. I guess Eldritch missed. Nine actually hits. What? As, as I said, this is a really bad showing of what this thing can do. I just kind of tried to arc it by hitting a, a shooting a wall and hoping to ricochet it past everyone and still hit it. Well, the, there is no way this is going to hit. And it hits. Just imagine if you made a legendary variant who actually can fluctuate the dice in its favor. Also, Zuko, you get another Eldritch Blast because you are 5th level. Oh, I can shoot again. Yes. Shoot again? I'll I'll my gun. 21 I hits. Hit. I just kind of start, like, grabbing two Eldritch Blasts, one on each hand, I just kind of flick them both in different directions, hoping to ricochet them to hit their mark. Roll damage. All right. 1d10 plus 3. And then you do that again. Four and four. Wow. Four and four? Wow. Fuck the dice gods. Uh, actually, uh, right, hey. it does do this twice. Alright. Both just kind of end up like, I guess, flying off their mark and just constantly like digging it on the side, like, two flying, forceful, invisible fists that just kind of clock one to the left and clock one to the right. Tommy, your turn now. How injured does it look? Very. Did I knock out I one of its feet? Ass <laughs> deep. Wait. Roll sleep Tommy dice. Wait, hold on. Tommy wishes to do one thing before he does this. Yes? Is Tommy smart enough to know whether or not sleep actually works on this creature? It'll work. Okay, thank you for- thank you for your pity. Roll sleep dice. 
Okay, the question is how high a level do I want to cast it? Hey guys, do you think yet we're planning on taking a long rest at any point today? Yes. Maybe. Okay, then I'm going to go for a second. All right, wait. Uh, how many dice do you get from sleep? Okay. Sorry, I'm still learning how to use sleep more effectively in combat. It's kind of difficult to use as a spell. Yeah, fairness. sleep is one of those things where you need visual cues from your DM. Okay, starting with creatures. So 58 base. Uh, oh, wait, where is the five? Wait, where is the dice number it says? Oh, okay, there, sorry. It's like written weirdly. Because uh, the way it's set up on my computer, roll is on the right side, but the 5d8 is on the left side of the column, so it like blocks it off and it kind of disappears into the text. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I will go with the first level one just because I have. Okay, on average, that's about 40. You know, okay, I'll try my luck with just the first level speed, uh, first level casting. Roll sleep. <laughs> right. Oops. 25. Ooh. 25 not is not enough. Damn. Not it. <laughs> Very hard. Make your attack. Hmm. How much movement does the horsey have? Forty, I believe. Wait, Wait you say forty? I believe. It's on the stat block. This is gonna be the stupidest and greatest idea ever. Alright. Oh, it has sixty! Oh. Oh. Okay. I know this is a, probably a risky idea, but Horsey's gonna move 20 feet back. Attack of opportunity. Luckily, I have shield active on me, so it works on the Horsey! So that's a plus four to this roll. 23. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Okay, this is not good. But it is an interesting idea. Uh, that is five. Uh, that's five acid damage. Okay, Horsey is not dead. Good. In hindsight, I probably should have attacked with the horse first, then used the that spell. Well, I'm learning. Yep. Tommy is still kind of a moron, and also I've never played a paladin before without having a gun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, plus six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I take it nine doesn't hit. Nine hits. I've been getting... This creature is playing low tier in comparison to when I used it. This creature has gotten really bad rolls. <laughs> For, yeah. for context, um, those D4s I was rolling. First one determines the adjustment to its AC. The second one on evens is addition. On odds is subtraction. And it got minus four both turns. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Okay, so that is four, five, six, seven, eight. That is nine, and it must make another strength save. Strength save it makes with a 2d6 addition. So that's four. Uh, four, a 13. Still fails. Saving throw is 14. It is prone. Horsey does the thing again. And oh, advantage. No. 17 20 hit. hits. Yep. Oh, wait, no, that's, more, that's 23. Oof. That's 23. Okay, this horse is legitimately kicking ass. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is 8 more damage. All right. Okay, and I'm learning now how to better effectively use sleep. It's just, it does have one major benefit. 
It the... is extremely useful for checking health. Lima, it is your turn. Lima wants more. It's just still trying to link and communicate with the elemental with opening her magic again. And use another source of it, nor to try to coax it to calm down more, hopefully. Roll me persuasion. Okay, persuasion. Plus eight, yay! Do you do any actions? Well, you are sure empathizing with it. That was my action, because Lima's right now a little too shaken up still, nor do you even start fighting right now, character-wise. Because this isn't something you're supposed to see happen. Yet it exists. And it's made of something you can't normally control, so... That that one, I can imagine her stuttering like mad, realizing... It's like discovering you've met, had a child this entire time. In a way, yeah. Except for so, your child is an eldritch abomination of some sort. Yeah, In this exactly. case, elemental. Yes, that's why she's kind of shaken up here. <laughs> Lima, you will hear in your head, I'm so sorry. As... Uh, that's a plus eight to the following roll. For a total of... <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing above 20 hits. Yep. It will. Uh, that is nine damage of fire. As it'll just lash out suddenly. Across your face. I would offer advice, but I'm pretty sure the rest of us can't hear it's talking. Nope. Exactly. Uh, Tommy's nope. just going to assume this is kind of a wild elemental thing that needs to be ta uh, taken care of ASAP. Zuko, it is your turn. <clears throat> I'm going to do what Zuko does best. Eldritch butter. Roll your double Eldritch blast. If, Double Eldritch Bird, uh, just, go. If you actually on... Uh, what, are, what are the odds? It's a... What's the odds of rolling a 1 on a d20? 1 in 20? Right. Yeah, just, just roll d20. If you roll above a 1, you hit. Yeah, that's a lot of AC. Just Eldritch Bird. Eldritch Bird. You hit. All damage. Can I help design a legendary variant of this? At oh, I've, I've designed. I've designed stronger versions. Oh, even better. It's just this one has been screwed over by getting minus AC every time. It is the whelp of the litter. The way I, okay, sorry. I the way just I do decided not... to, uh, very quick. Like I very much kind of throw both, like seeming both to my left and my right. Not really crosswise. More like a, I throw one on each side, hitting the nearby houses, ricocheting around the entire area. No one probably could have hit somebody, and yet both kind of bounce off the house behind the elemental and both hit him on the back of the head. Yep. So, sorry for interrupting, but the way I'm kind of personally saying the AP dropping for 25 damage. I'm oh, sorry, 24 nice. damage. Nice. But the way I'm seeing the 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 AC uh, dropping right now is due to like. Lima being used, was connecting to it and stuff like that, and like it less than that. The form disappears, and what's left floating in the air is a floating pocket watch. Before that, and it's gone. Did, I, I did we tame your party, pocket watch? And I'm just gonna snatch that pocket watch. Oh no! It it disappeared. It was My floating there for a second, and then it's gone. Like I tried to snatch it, and it's gone. Like mother. It, it looked like it magically imploded in on itself. Lima's just gonna fall to her knees and cry. I proceed to slap Lima. Okay. Okay. I'll, okay I'll Roll the strength. Roll the strength check to see how hard I slap. No, I, I, you're gonna roll strength. I'm gonna roll dex. My strength is zero. <laughs> One moment, please. 
Is there alarm set? I'm probably going to fail, but let's see it. <laughs> the image immediately catches your hand and looks up. She's still crying, but she's now pissed. It's uh, an and elemental, and it was hurting itself from its own conflicted existence. Get over it. Its existence is because of me! Rage is active, because this would actually make her go into a rage. Oh shit. Uh, I bomb emotions. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> You're not me! I have stand by, so go. What is calm emotions? <laughs> it's a first level spell. Thank you, fucking God. It it's, bombs is it, now. it does it require a save? I don't think so. Normally, it's just a passive effect. It's just a simple spell. I would look into the details and ruler, uh, rules lawyer, just in case if needed. But I have to drive right now. I'm looking into oh, it God. at the moment. Thank you. Usually, it, it's one of those things that's usually just used for calming people down. Lima, charisma save. I'm guessing I have to merit the charisma save, too. Uh, yeah, you, Lima, you succeed. You can choose to not be calm. Lima's not going to be calm, and I'm going to quickly roll a d20. What? No, wild right. magic, thank God. Do I succeed? Yes, you succeed. Right. I didn't hear that, but uh, I bet I take it uh, Lima is not in good mood. Lima yeah. is not in good mood, and both of them succeeded on calm emotions. Oh, uh, no. Look, the point is, it was hurting itself from its own. Con it's I put it out of its misery. One from my. Mistake years ago, and it's just gonna come back over and over because of my fucking dumb existence. What if we go to the source? I already put it out of its misery for one time, I can do it again. The main source is the rift, and we were told it's too dangerous for us. I but can't go can there. If you say the rift, if you say you can understand what the thing was doing, then you might be the only one who can talk to it. Also, you wouldn't be alone. Have us. <sighs> yep, you're right. But if first, it, if, if it hurts <laughs> itself too much, I could try to put it out of its misery. The least I can do as a doctor. But first off, you should quickly go to the Archmages. And let them know about this anomaly. Yes, I think that's the right. Or was it pancake? Let's go with anomaly for now. Anomalous pancake. That sounds like an interesting dessert. Tommy, uh, uh, Tommy, uh, here she's gonna toss. She was gonna toss Tommy her uh, money real quick. She gained one silver. Uh, use some of this for uh, the dinner for your father later. Okay. I still want to welcome him back. I'll quickly go and go to Agatha and let her know what just happened. So. Okay. This All will right, be a good excuse for me to focus on driving. Thank you. Oddly enough, Zuko does not hate Agatha. Yeah. Out of all the Archmages, Zuko does not hate Agatha because he already saw like most of what she did. That was Emma. Agatha... That was oh, Emma you saw. Agatha can go fuck herself. Who is to again? I'm trying to remember. Agatha is a or, transmutation. Like, Agatha is a transmutation mage. Uh, Emma is the divination mage. And Agatha is the one who originally okay. had the uh, thing inside the glass. Oh, Aggie. Her name's easier to remember. Mm. But yes, Lima's going to go to Agatha quickly as she can while still trying to calm herself down from that interaction. All right. I put the thing out of its misery. It was an act of mercy. It's an 
that yet. <clears throat> so, so, Zuko, do you go along with Lima? Well, I don't want to go along with Lima. Just asking if you do. <laughs> um, I kind of want to make sure that other Archmage doesn't do anything suspicious. All right. I'm not going to kill Tommy's father yet. Please stop threatening to kill my papa. <laughs> uh, as you get to Agatha's tower, you'll be told that she is in meeting with the other Archmages. I'll, I'll wait here then. Let her know I'm waiting out here for a topic. I... When... Involving a I use send message. It has a hundred foot range. Perfect. I literally say in big bold letters, exclaiming from right next to Lima's head, but mainly aiming at Agatha or whoever the heck is receiving this. Abica, fuck you. The Look. attendant will look at you. It's not at, it's, I'm not physically there because it's next to Lima. So the way message works is you just kind of send a thing to someone and then they receive the thing. It's like, it's like one way telepathy, but you have to make a whisper first. Yes. Or at least mouth it. That's the best way they've been able to describe it. It's literally used as a substitute for like the telepathy ability a while back. God, I thought it was gonna like I thought it was gonna sound like putting a megaphone next to somebody's head, and so they would just slightly. No, 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 no. See, if you want to do that, you use thaumaturgy. You use thaumaturgy. You use thaumaturgy. Your voice gets louder. Which I wish was an option for Prismari when I was picking spells, but was not. Damn. <laughs> That's such a fun spell. Alright, uh, you all wait. It takes about... It takes a few hours. Tommy, you're done picking up groceries if you want to meet up with them. <laughs> okay. Just probably help. I'm probably just talking with... Uh, he has Tommy's a lot of eggs. eggs. Like, a lot of eggs. I use Mage Hand to help him. <laughs> Eventually, after about three hours, Agatha will come towards her tower. Oh, hello, Lima, dear. Uh, what can I... Yeah. We have a situation. We... I can't message, message again. We come are a you, situation. Are you selling oh. Agatha the F you? Hello again, you dumb, stupid archmage. I would like you to know that you suck. Roll me wisdom save. You can... That is bullshit. I am way out of your range. Uh, I have a feeling it you just not had again. You me from here. I am still with the other guy. Wait, it it messages a hundred foot range. Polymorph is 120. Oh, that is some bullshit. Uh, why do I have a feeling that one of my dad's quirks now is he like, tends to be very... Um, the word? Th th this isn't Darker doing this. This is Agatha doing this. Yeah. I presume Harker gave up the idea. Need to disrupt that shit. I ain't having it this time. What is your wisdom save? My wisdom with a but with a uh, magic resistance. Yes. And people say uh, warlocks shouldn't have counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the reason they say that is more the mechanical purpose, where it's like you get so little spell slots anyway. Why did yeah. you two fuck you at tables? You resist it, and I can still just say, "I have no idea what I have done to you." You existed, you breathed, I hate you. Guards! You like She'll just commander. call. She'll just call for guards. <laughs> uh, Agatha? 
Yes. We encountered. I just kind of moving things. smug at the dinner table. And you're not at the dinner table. You are in front of Agatha's tower. How the yeah. fuck? Because that's where Lima was waiting. If you want to be, if you want to send the message to Agatha, you would be at the tower. Okay, fine. But, uh, yeah, but we must just want to continue the thought process here. It's about the pocket watch. Thanks. We encountered it earlier, and it was doing a little bit of a rampage in a body. In a mental body, but in a body. We managed to, to temporarily subdue it, but it warped somewhere. And when I opened my awareness to it, I could hear myself. And he was apologizing. I see. Well, but I we know it out of its misery. We know it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not destroyed. It just walked somewhere else. This is actually serendipitous, Lima, because Neil Harker has. Offered to assist us with taking care of the rift. He thinks he may have found a way to get rid of it. Also, Zuka, I will have you know that you are being arrested for disturbing the peace, I or at least being dragged away. Bookshelf in front of them. There is no way they could catch me. You are outside. There is no bookshelf to throw. I was literally inside when I cast the message, then went outside, there and then ran. There was no. To be <laughs> inside! <laughs> I am You are outside a mage's tower waiting for her to come. There is no book side, there is no inside. I'm just going to immediately, before the guards show up, make a run for the alleyway. Wait. Wait, Lee was gonna. Sorry, sorry, but Lee was gonna put two, two, two together real quick and turn to Tommy. 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 Uh. I have a feeling I know what your father's planning to do with something the rest. And and she's and it's a high chance your mother is gonna come back because of it. The rift is a whole bunch of energy, and you can technically use that energy. I want to bring something back. So, um, Tommy's, vo lucky. Tommy's vocals are distorted. Yeah, very much. Oh dear God! I have a bad feeling about this. I, I, we should go the with. distorted feeling is better. <laughs> I <laughs> believe he said he has a bad feeling about it. Yep. We have to go with. I agree with Tommy. If all else fails, we'll just use chilling touch to just, uh, you know, make oh. the undead die quicker. Agatha will um, realize what you're talking about. Oh. Well, he uh -oh. said he would go ahead and begin preparations. But we'll, we'll definitely go, just to make sure things go right, and everything goes, if anything goes awry, we'll hopefully be that to stop right. our... Would you need to like teleport... just rejoin the party by getting thrown in by guard? Ow, you yeah. guys are dicks. Yeah, at this point, like, they're not arresting you, it's just, like, you are being a nuisance, and you have insulted an archmage in public, and they're just, like, hey. They're giving you this big guy, like, he's a little kid. You hate me, you underpaid plate armor wearing thug. Uh, hold on, before Zuko starts speaking up again, I think he's gonna tear off more of her right sleeve and just gag Zuko real quick. I'm going to first use acid breath on Lima. <laughs> Just spit on her. Hey, what? You have acid breath? <laughs> nah, it's poison breath, but still, it's like mustard gas. Um, is this about being a 
No one responds. It should be acid, bro. <laughs> George, what be the funny fuck? as hell, though. Chaos. Chaos is a fucking chaos. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna cast. <laughs> are you cast? Are you actually casting poison spray at Lima? No, I'm just gonna cast vicious mockery on her. And Lima, what? wisdom save. <laughs> wisdom save. Don't touch me with your dirty sleeve, you goddamn. Person. Ten is a failed roll. The roll the damage. <laughs> Two d four. If you kill one of these guards, Two d four emotional one. damage. Why emotional damage? <laughs> if that accidentally kills you, I'm quitting. The game. Five the psychic damage to Lima. Lima's. Right Ira twitches and she just shoves it deeper in for the gag. And then ties it so so it'll take a whole entire three minutes for you to untie it. I'm just gonna casually um can I Eldritch blast it off without shooting myself? No. Hmm. Lima's just gonna I'm, walk back I'm to I'm just gonna use Mage back. Hand to untie it. Yes. Let's do this. So, Let's do this. we will definitely go. No, with, well, with he, he decided to teleport ahead. He will be gone soon, if not already. That is a sign. going to try the quick calculations in her head to calculate how long it will take to get to what used to be her old village. About five days. Oh. Yes. Yeah, five days. Okay. We'll, we'll try to get there as quickly as possible. You only need to get some, some supplies. And then we'll try to get to... A month, quickly. Well, it used to be a month, but now it's rift. I hopefully, if if what Lima is saying is true and there are ulterior motives, then uh, let's just hope that. It can be resolved. I hope so too. Hmm. Zico you. just kind of undoes the thing, but he doesn't say anything. Thank you, but please keep note of any uh, elementals that seem very off. We'll cause... keep an eye on those. Thank you. Hang on. Question DM. Yes, Richard? Um, I forgot if Zuko's met this archmage. You have. I forgot I why I Zuko hated, hated her. You had no reason to hate her. I just kind of stop and then kind of realize. In retrospect, I realized I think I may have projected my hatred of a different. I might have been on. Picked her up with a different mage. She will. She will sigh and then head on into her tower. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. I'm also sorry, sorry though. Mommy, Griff, on the Zuko me, but, uh, Sam? Yes? Sorry, I'm what? I, I think we're talking over Andrew a lot, because his oh, mic's... Uh, I was trying to hear what Andrew said. Yeah. Sorry, well, hold on, I'll switch off the Blizzard. Why? How's it? Yeah, sorry, Andrew, it's just that you have been insanely quiet this whole time. You are slightly robotic. Okay, there we go. Is this better? Much better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what happens is I keep forgetting that the Bluetooth in my car causes a distortion error, which makes it so that way it cuts in and out. Because it's trying yeah. to sync two different wireless things at once. Ah. Uh, the thing I was trying to say is... 
Tommy hangs on to Zuko's hand and asks, Eddie's gonna be alright, right? As you what? see, Tommy actually seems to be legitimately afraid for the first time in your visual view, besides that one incident at the door. I'm sorry, what was Tommy asking? I mean, Eddie's gonna be alright, right? Well, I should uh, hope so. Uh... Uh, yeah, no. I'm just gonna roll deception. Well, uh, as as you're doing that, Neil Harker would walk up. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> Daddy! Oh. I'm gonna yeah. just use prestigitation, just put an annoying sparkler in his face. It uh, does no damage, but it just shows how much I the guards upset with him. The guards will um, clear their throats at you. Uh, I roll my here. eyes and stop. <laughs> I could, uh, Mr. Mamba, as a, no. I have been informed. I can keep doing this. <sighs> Fine. I am not using the spell out of malice. I am using it out of reaction. Uh-uh. Oh yeah, like that time you let me be a bunny for a day. That was fun. <laughs> it's still itchy. I just kind of merely turned that head tall and just kind of like, what? Uh, Neil Hawker, it's okay if we join you. Okay, sure. It's... You just got to throw up my hands like, fine. It is okay, I just will need some time alone to prepare some things. I understood. Just please get, get us in case anything goes wrong or you yeah. help, right? You are free to I'd, you're free to follow after me. It's just I will be going alone at first. Understood. Stupid we'll, 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 monitors are stupid we'll, we'll, armages and they're stupid towers. We we will meet you there then in five days, hopefully. I'm just gonna quickly Well, let's I, I see Tommy has gathered some food. Let's all have dinner then. Yes. And I'll plan that's what Rigi went by to do before we uh or something else. <laughs> I'm just gonna slip into the alchemical laboratory for a second. There is... Uh, you no, are out in the middle there. of the street oh. right now. Got it. So, uh... Anyway, um... I think right there is actually a good place to end the session for now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you for everyone who showed up. Uh, I just murdered an elemental. Yes, you did. <laughs> I am. I am upset about how badly that performed. Because it's such a it fun. Like it a, it so well. I just kicked it like it was a downed puppy. Yeah, yeah, you did. A downed kitten. That because it kept losing AC. I think they're because it, it. That that also just also because nothing resists force damage that much. Oh no, it could have. Every time it was getting hit, I was rolling a d6. If it got a five, it was resistant to that. If it got a six, it was immune. Oh my god. I just won the gambling. Yep. There was actually a point where um, it got a one on the d6 against, I think it was Tommy's first round, and that meant it was vulnerable. Oh, oh. It is a fun... It is a fun creature when it goes correctly. Um, anyway, thank you. Uh, the, the celestial horse was amazing. Thank you, chat, for showing up. And uh, hopefully we'll meet up next week, barring any scheduling issues. Yeah. But, uh... All right. Farewell. Bye.